New tonight, Samantha Swan's alleged killer, Carl DeFay, faces his first day of trial. 13 Investigates' William Ingalls breaks down the fight to prove how Swan died and what it means to the trial. William. Brittany, before we get into that argument about how Swan died, I want to go into some of the evidence that we heard from law enforcement who went on scene on August 17th, 2017. Investigators went to a house on Wheeler Road in Durand, which was in DeFay's family with a search warrant for the property. What they found was a collection of bones, cement and ammonia and a pig feeder. Scientists later identified those remains belong to Samantha Swan. Swan apparently died from strangulation, which the defense says is unclear. That's because the original autopsy report was inconclusive. Evidence showed that a common bone in the neck near the tongue, which often fractures in strangulation, was not fractured. However, the prosecution showed evidence from an anthropologist which examined Swan's body to show that that particular bone was fused, making it far more unlikely to break during a strangulation. They also leaned on the final autopsy report, which took into account that anthropological data and witness testimonies to determine the final cause of death to be strangulation. But the ultimate impact of that evidence is going to be determined by the jury, and that jury is going to hear from the defendant, Carl DeFay, later on in this trial. For now, reporting in Rockford 413 Investigates, I'm William Ingalls. Brittany, back to you. William, thank you for that update.